Police found Kimberly Hill dead in her apartment. A woman living on County Road 61 told police Davis had knocked on her door saying he just murdered someone and asked her to call 911. From the courts now, justice, you can say, has been served for the victim who died at the hands of her own son, 18-year-old Kevin Davis, will spend the rest of his life in prison for the brutal attack that claimed the life of Kimberly Hill. It's just a sad situation. It's all uncalled for. I mean, he didn't have to do that. You know what I mean. And, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you just don't take your mother's life. It was back in March when 18-year-old Kevin Davis beat his mother to death with a hammer and then sexually abused her. Davis' sister, Desiree Hill, told jurors that she was close with her mom, describing Kimberly as a good woman. She was the best mother that you could ask for. She you know, she just, she worked two jobs. I'm seeing was like something out of a movie. The things that Kevin Davis confessed to doing um, to his mother and the ways that he hurt her uh, were things that you don't normally see every day. And it was really difficult to present evidence to a jury in a way that allowed them to understand what he did to this woman, but still respect the fact that they're normal everyday people who don't see the things that we see as prosecutors day in and day out. We must warn you, what you're about to hear is extremely disturbing. I uh, was saying earlier, you, you've talked to some people, you want to get some stuff off your chest. Uh, you know, we're here to listen to you. Why are you here? What happened? Tell us what, you know, what happened. Well, have you, has anybody gone to the house yet? Do you really? We know what happened. We now. have, but we want to hear it from you. Or we have an idea. You the only one look at us. Start at the beginning, man. What, what caused all this? Well, the very beginning, I asked my mother for permission to die, or rather kind of com commit suicide. The sort of beating around the bush sort of thing. Because, mm -hmm. well, well, that doesn't really matter why I wanted to kill myself. Sure it does. It does. I'm bored with life. I don't like life. Mm -hmm. I don't like people. I don't like living it, basically. There's really nothing, anything depressing about it. Just is what it is. And so... I wrote the note. I did. When did you write the note? Around six, 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 seven inch. Today or yesterday? Yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. That was Sunday afternoon or morning? Afternoon. Okay. Okay. And then what happened? And then. Did you get upset with it? Kind. Well, no, actually. I mulled it over. And then on a whim, actually, I turned it over. Wrote a plan to kill both my mother and my sister, quite okay. frankly, because that's always been a thing of mine. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a pervert. Yeah. Um, is it like a, like a fantasy thing? And, it is, mm -hmm. actually. Okay. So, that didn't act. The best laid plans never work out, apparently, or at least the one scribbled on a piece of paper. Uh -huh. uh, because she had decided she was sick of this stuff and she was going to go send me to live with my sister again. And so I kind of left off in a fury and just did it right then and there. Okay. You did what? Well, I tried to strangle her with a cord, mm -hmm. a ripped cord from a video game console controller. That didn't work, huh? What was this as you thought strangle her? She was sitting on the couch okay. watching TV. Okay. That didn't work out too well. She started screaming, and so I went to her room, mm -hmm. opened a drawer at the very bottom to the right, I pulled out a hammer, I went back in the living room, and well, you kind of get the gist from there. And, uh, she was out pretty quickly, kind of tried to play dead at first, but then I finished it. So you hit her with a hammer when she was sitting in the sofa in the living room? No. First, I tried to strangle her, and uh -huh. that didn't work, right. so I grabbed the cord, so I raced back into her room, mm -hmm. grabbed the hammer, came back out, and then did it. Okay. How many times did you hit with a hammer in the living room? 
at least 20, but then she was still alive. I dragged her into the room, as you probably clearly saw, and then I picked, uh, kind of warmed my hands into her brain to kind of just, just cut it. Mm-hmm. She was still snoring. Okay. So she was still alive? She was still alive. And you went in there and you kind of grabbed those brains? Yeah. I just finished it. Alright. Did you use a knife on her? Actually, I was going to, but no, I didn't get to do that. Did you, t- well, did you, I guess you never got to stab her with a knife? No. It was all with a hammer? It was all with a hammer where, in my hand. Where did you hit her with a hammer? The head. All in the, all in the head area? All in the head, I believe. She, I may have gotten her hand because she was covering herself. Okay. Uh, is this uh, in the front or the, or the back of the head? Top, back, mainly. Mm-hmm. No, actually the entrance wound is around yonder somewhere here. Okay. And then, uh, so when when you dragged her to the the living room, I mean to the bedroom, you kept on hitting her there. What? Yeah, I kind of. That's where the. Uh, uh, that's when you reached in and grabbed her brain. Yeah, I kicked at it a bit. Then I just. Uh, that was kind of silly, but then yeah, I just decided to reach in and kind of just just do it. Mm-hmm. And then what did you do after that? Then I had sex with her corpse. You did. Mm-hmm. Did you? I did, actually. Have you ever done that before, like that sex with her? No, I haven't, actually. This is just the first time? Oh, yeah, I've lost my virginity to a corpse. Okay. Uh, did you change in the bathroom? Did you? I did. I even, I took a bath before then. My pain. Well, that's a little personal, but yeah, mm-hmm. I needed to clean it off, and so, um, and then I, then I changed, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about your sister? What's your sister's name? Uh, Desiree Hill. Is she okay? She is okay, yeah. Okay. Where did she live? At an apartment actually very near here. Um, that big kind of Hispanic thing, I mean like Spanish looking building. Mm-hmm. It's an old apartment complex with a code. Was it a, a fantasy of yours to kill her as well? It and was. did you write down that on, on your note? Oh, I did actually, but I decided against it because, well, I had my fill of killing. I didn't seem a little much, mm-hmm. a little too excessive, yeah. So, uh, so after you uh, you went in and you killed her, and you made sure that she was dead by grabbing her brain, and moving it around, uh, then you took her clothes off, or, or was she already? Uh, actually, I had to drag her by her clothes to get her in there. It was very laborious, actually. Mm-hmm. She's a pretty big woman, she's heavy. Yeah. Hey, is she your natural mother? She biological is, mother? Yeah, actually, she is my natural mother. Mm-hmm. I take after my father. Okay. Hey, what, what kind of thrill did you get by uh, having sex with her? I had always loved my mother, I guess, in the wrong sort of way, but a kind of love, I guess. Maybe some rage. Okay. Maybe just a little. But mostly. In a fro- Freudian style? Freudian? Uh, I kind of get where you come from. Sure, why not? Yeah. All right. Um, have you killed anybody else before? I have not. You just fantasized about it. I just fantasy. Yeah. Okay. What What got you to this point? Tell us about what got you to this point. Did you hate lie if you wanted to commit to? Oh, what did you say about it when you told her you wanted in a roundabout way to commit? Say no. She said yes. What uh, did she say to you? She said, um, basically, I'm a grown man, and what I do, I can't really stop me. She was, and no, she was distraught over it, of course. I mean, she, of course, of course. Yeah, she said she'd cope with it. I mean, if you kill him, that's kind of why she wanted me to go away. Why she called my sister to come pick me up, and that's kind of why I just left. So she, at that point, you got pissed? Not necessarily. I just knew it was time to act now, now or never. How, how long have you had this thought she went? It's around my preachings, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you ever seek uh, any kind of atten- me- uh, medical attention, psychological? Uh, you feel that you can cope with that? Yeah. Nope, I never really seek help, actually. Mm-hmm. I just accepted it as a part of me. I wasn't really ashamed of it. Mm-hmm. It just was what it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, what kind of, well, let's talk about the notes that you wrote. Uh, how many notes did you write? Three. Three. Uh, there was one in the living room. Yeah. That one was addressed to who? Desiree, my sister. Because mm-hmm. I knew she 
Uh, she's a good girl, but rather sensitive. I, I knew she would lose her head if she kind of saw that. You remember what the note said? Uh, keep your head. Hurry. She might still be alive, although I highly doubt it in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Something along those lines. Yeah. Sincerely. But when you wrote the note, you knew your mom was already dead. Oh yeah, I knew yeah. it. And, you know. So you just messing with with Desiree by writing that that she might still be alive. Yeah, my sick sense of humor. Okay. I was pretty well off my rocker by then. Uh, and then there's a second note in, 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 in uh, your mom's bedroom. What did that one say? Do you remember? Chase me. Was that addressed to the police or, or to who? Uh, I was just in a, I was in a very playful mood at the time. Okay. I just, well, I just wanted to run. I just wanted to see how far I could get. But yeah. So what, uh, uh, your plan was to leave town? Uh, or what, uh, according to one of the notes that you wrote? Oh, yeah, so actually, bus, yeah the, gray, the Greyhound bus. Mm -hmm. I was going to try to get out of the state or anything, okay. really. But I guess something else happened. You ended up at somebody's house? No, what actually. What happened? I told you my plan was foiled because she wanted yeah. to... She talked to me. She said my sister's going to come pick me up now, like mm -hmm. in a few minutes, uh -huh. go over with her, and that's when I said it's time to act, okay. now or never. Oh, I see. I just went over the, to their house to use <coughs> their phone, and then they wanted... I was using their phone, so I thought I might as well tell them when they asked me mm -hmm. questions. I mean, they had questions on using their phone. I Where was this at? Where did you end up at? Ultimately, I ended up in the backwoods of a ditch. Here in town or out of town? Um, Robstown. In Robstown. How did you get over there? In Corpus Christi, I biked halfway, and then I got to the train tracks, and then I ditched the bike in the thick woods, and then from the train tracks, I just walked. To rough stuff? Yeah. Okay, and then you came up to the, was it like the first house that you saw, or how did you, oh, how yeah. did you go to this house for, to ask to use the phone? Initially, my plan was just to run, run, run as far as I can, but then I ended up crying my eyes out in like the thick woods, like, oh, uh, what did I do? And I realized, oh, mm -hmm. you don't know what you lost till you've already lost it. And so I just, I knew that my life wasn't going to go anywhere, not anymore, so I just kind of gave it up midway. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so you, uh, what brings you here other than your life? Is you just give up on life now and just, you need to tell somebody what happened, basically, right? I guess, yeah. Your insides just, you're, you, you want to do one thing, but your insides tells you more, like your heart, right? You're talking out of your heart. No. You feel sorry you did this to your mom? In a way, yes, but I wouldn't take <coughs> back what I did. It's strange, really. Mm -hmm. I did love her. In a way. Uh, uh, she being mean to me? Oh, you? no, no. She's been the best mother. Okay, so she is. Nothing that she did? To oh, absolutely nothing. No, she if I was to ask you, what did she do to deserve this? What would you answer? Absolutely nothing. I'm just, I'm a terrible, I'm a terrible cruel, person. disgusting person. Yeah, basically. How'd you come up with the idea to kill her and have sex with her? Is it, is it, is How did I come up with it? Yeah, was it... It's been a developing just, idea uh, in my brain. Mm -hmm. But you haven't gotten ideas from games or videos or you're not into uh, uh, some of those some, uh, dark games? Some things inspired me, but they did not necessarily plant the seed. Mm -hmm. you get me? They didn't plant the seed, but they did egg me on, rather. I is, guess. Is that the books you've been reading? Not necessarily. I watched them. I got actually. I recently got into watching some of uh, some foreign movies, creepy stuff. Not oh. necessarily mainstream horror. The oh. kind of stuff that you keep away from. Oh, okay. okay. So are you into witchcraft? Anything mm, like that? No. Not rap. I guess it sounds kind of um. I'm, I'm just interested because it's something unusual and you're here telling us about it and you appear to be a nice guy. You appear to be a good guy. You know, you're, you know, you're not yelling and screaming you at You seem very you're, rational. You're, you're very rational. You appear uh, to be a good guy. This is what I'm trying to figure out. That's all. Uh, well, despite how I ended her life, I'm kind of more fascinated by the more artistic ways of murder, the meticulous manner, the way they cut them open just slice them to pieces. I mean, such care, such love. And where did the where did the hammer come from that you used? From her drawer. 
Okay. And now after you killed her, you just left it there? The hammer? I did. Yes, because you saw a hammer there next to her body. That's, that's the one you used? Mm-hmm. Okay. And there was some blood in the knife, but you said you never used it? I guess just blood just from where you grabbed it around the... Oh, that knife. Actually, I used that to stir her brains up a little, but then that didn't really work out, so I just kind of decided to delve on it. Did you do that head. in the living room or the bedroom? Because we found that in the... It wasn't in the bedroom. Did I may have started out. So. Yeah, actually, I used the knife in the living room, and then I... Didn't I take it with me? Didn't so the, her brains were already kind of coming out when in the living room when you dragged it? Yes, but she was still snoring like a baby, and so I just kind of grabbed her. But explain to her how you grabbed her so that you wouldn't leave such a mess in the carpet. <sighs> that... Did you carry her from underneath the arms and just dragged her, or how did you drag her? It was very sloppy, actually. Yeah. I kind of just winged it. I dragged her from her shirt. I dragged her by her legs. I dragged her by any way I kind of fell. I mean, okay, okay. I don't really exert physical labor to mm -hmm. so I'm not a very strong person. She's bigger than you are. Yeah. She's a little bigger than you are. How many uh, siblings do you have? Is it just you and Des Desiree? I do have a half-brother, actually, but yeah. I haven't seen him in a long while. Does he live here in town or no? He doesn't. Okay. What about dad? What is dad in? He never, he's not in the picture of your dad? Or? Uh, no, not really. He's, he's an idiot. He's, a, he's an idiot. Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea where he's at? <sighs> Probably somewhere in Fort Worth, maybe. Mm -hmm. And you live there with your mom at the Windrush Apartments? What's the apartment number there? 1707. Okay. Uh, which, you have a, your own bedroom there? I do. Okay. All right. So the note where you wrote the plan that you were going to leave town and kill your mom, kill your sister, that was the one that we found there. We found it in one of the bedrooms. Not where your mom was, but the other one. That's your. That was your room? Yeah, that's the big, blank, yeah. sloppy looking ass. Okay. And, but your sister didn't live with you guys? She didn't. Okay. There was a magic marker there on top of the little desk here in your room. Magic marker? Like permanent a, marker. Like a marker. Permanent, permanent marker. marker. Okay, permanent marker, yeah. yes. Yeah. Is that the one you used? It was on a little like folding table. Uh, uh, that's where you wrote your notes? I think I just grabbed a piece of like, my old school work and just kind of. How do you do in schoolwork, man? Going back to school, how do you do in schoolwork? Pretty mediocre. I never really, I never really could muster, but to yeah. even really care. I mean, I guess I excelled in English for all that was worth. Okay. How about uh, sports? No, I I don't like sports. You don't like sports? Football? I know that. I know you're a little small for football, but oh, yeah. what school did you go to? Ray High School. Ray, and you were in tenth grade. Yeah. All uh, right. Do you ever tell anybody else what your plans were? Uh, that you know what you wanted to do, your mom or your sister? No, but over the years there were hints. As a younger boy, I was a a lot dumber, a lot more angsty. You know, I said things, but I guess they basically brushed it off. I guess the hints were everywhere, but they're my family. Family looks past that kind of stuff, or they try to not look at it. Mm -hmm. I guess. Let me ask you. At this point, what do you consider yourself? You consider yourself. I'm going to use a dirty word, okay? But I, I don't mean oh. to, I don't mean to insult you, no, okay? Do you consider you mentally disturbed? Do you consider yourself crazy? Do you? What do you consider yourself? Any of those? Huh? Or you think you're okay? You just got some bad thoughts. I'm not mentally disturbed. Disturbed. I mean, I'm sane. I know exactly what I did. I know that it's wrong in the tradition, in the traditional no. sense of wrong. Hello. It was just a fantasy you had, and yeah. you had to carry it out. Carry it out. Yeah. Not yet. Now I feel vaguely, um, right. Right. kind of like I'm done. Mm -hmm. So, you still feel like they? Well, you're done with your mom. You still feel like you want to keep on killing, to keep on, you know, with other fantasies. Or, or how do you feel? came here to pay for my crime, so I guess I should continue with the truth. Mm -hmm. Truthfully. Yes, definitely. I would kill again. Mm -hmm. How about us? I think you want to kill us. Oh, no. Rather, men aren't my thing, actually. Oh, women. Yeah. Okay. Do uh, 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 you have a girlfriend? I don't. You I've don't never had a girlfriend. Never had a girlfriend. I'll tell you what. Give me your fancy of killing a woman. Oh, your fancy killing would be. Your age killing. What could that be? This is a little peculiar. I'm on the camera. Okay. Um. 
I'm not surprised at what I'm going to hear, but you tell me. Maybe dressing up in a nice suit, sneaking into her house, disabling her boyfriend. You know, I'd bring a pretty dress with me to dress her up in. I I was always into strangling, but after after that last um, blunder, I guess maybe something big and sharp would be more along uh, more along my thing. Mm -hmm. And I could, I don't know, probably decapitate her, as I, I prefer my women dead. Um, okay. I would dress her up. I'd stitch her up. Kind of just kind of try to work the head back on, perhaps. And uh, then I'd go to town, and it would be a night to remember. Mm -hmm. And then I'd kind of just burn everything and run for the hills. Now you, you mentioned that you lost your virginity to a corpse. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What happened? Oh, well, just last night, my mother, yeah. Okay, you, not somebody else. You're talking yeah. about your mom. Yes. Okay, so before that, you had never had sex? Well, uh, I guess since I'm being yeah. quiet about it, I might as well tell you now. I, yeah, and it's on the note, too, the P.S. part. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to have a gray cat named um, Claire. Oh, yeah, VCL is a thing of mine, too, mm -hmm. now, now you know. And so I... Um, I strangled it, I drowned it, and then I cut it open, and you know the rest, mm. kind of get the rest. You had sex with the cat, with the dead cat? Oh. Yeah, ripped it open, stuck it in there, yeah. Uh, you, you ever had sex with a live person? No. No. So that, your thing, uh, uh, having sex with a live person, that doesn't turn you on, it's uh, dead? Dead things, dead persons, dead animals, that's what turns you on? I don't necessarily mind. I don't have standards or morals. Mm -hmm. Body's a body and in the end, it's a piece of meat. I guess it's harsh to say, but... Mm -hmm. But no, I don't necessarily mind. How about the idea of hurting yourself? Do you have the same idea now? Huh? Do you have the same idea that you want to hurt yourself, commit suicide? No, it's all for me. Okay. It's going to... I'll uh, face the music, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. There's not a happy ending for me, definitely. Well, just tell me, what do you think should happen to you? What do you think your punishment should be? Uh, whatever the judge, the people, the jury deemed fit, I can rot, I can suffer for years, or I can be given the death penalty, whatever they think. Which for me. What do you think you deserve? Killing your mom? I deserve, sex with your mom? I just deserve to rot and suffer. I mean, it just it is what it is. Okay, I want to give you some options here. Okay, ten years probation, twenty years in the pen, a hundred years in the pen. What do you prefer from those cities? Name them again. Probation, ten years, twenty, ten years in the pen, fifty years, a hundred years in the pen. A hundred. The, the maximum. The, I suppose. I mean, I I, mean, I admire your mind, man. You, you don't sit here and try to baby yourself to death. Came here to face the music. I guess just gotta. Yeah. Right. Uh, Thank you, brother, man. Anything else you want to add uh, about what happened that's important that we should know? Not really. I'm mm -hmm. sure you're interested in other colorful details. Have you ever heard your sister? No, I haven't. No. Anybody else? No. She didn't ever kill anybody else or anything else? Oh, no. Yeah, that was my first. Was, uh, you ever been on Blucher Street? Mm hmm? Oh, you ever been on Blucher Street? Uh, is he referring to like Blucher Street? Blucher Street. Blucher Street. You know where Blucher Park is? I uh, haven't. It's a large it's area of uh, Karankawa, Tonkawa. It's down the street here in the uptown area. I had a, a woman that was killed in uh, that thing. So. Oh, no, not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is the first time you're saying that, that you killed somebody? Yeah. A person, not an animal? <clears throat> yes. Do you want to know what's going to happen to you now? Oh, sure. Okay, very simple. You're going to be booked at the, uh, the county. At first, you're going to the city facility, you're charged with murder. Then you will be uh, uh, transferred over to the county. 
where, of course, you're going to become jail. They'll set a bond for you and everything else, and if you can afford to get out of jail, so be it. And if you can't, you should then jump to your trial. Okay? The trial, you can plead not guilty, and you can go to trial, and let a jury decide if you're guilty or not, or you may be able to cut a deal with a district attorney for whatever time you want to cut a deal for. Okay? Spare the jury. You know, in a jury, of course, a jury of 12, you probably might have several women or several men. The thing to remember is all those people have had mothers in the past, and they may not be too proud of you. Oh, of course. I don't expect people to think very highly of me after this. Hey, but like I said, I admire you for your honesty. You were honest with us, and you didn't try to push us. Okay? And you're like a man. You came out here and took it like a man. So around what time was it that you did this to your mom yesterday? Probably ended around 8-ish, 9-ish. Night time? Night? Yeah, night. Okay. And then what time did you leave the apartment and ride off on your bike? Maybe around 9-ish, 10-ish, late night. Late nine. And then today is when you ended up at that house in Rockstown? Yeah. Um, Where would your bike be at? Probably in the undergrowth around the train tracks, just a little east of that house. But it's really deep in... No, wait, you said my bike? Yes. Okay, I was talking about my other stuff. But my bike is... I... I was going nowhere at the time. I don't even remember the street I was on. I just kind of stuffed it in the undergrowth near a... Near the railroads. Near the railroads in 44 or where? No, it was kind of a residential area. I remember going down a steeper hill with my bike and it like I just ditched it. It wasn't worth much now. I decided to kind of rode it a little hard, of course. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to drive? I don't know how to drive. Oh, is that why you didn't take your mom's car? Exactly. Your mom's car is still parked there now. Did anything yeah. happen to your mom's car? Oh, nothing. Okay. If we were to take you, would you go show us where the, where the bike sat in the park? Oh, could you do? Could you do that? I don't remember the, the street name, but I could help. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you should recover your bike. What oh. kind of bike is it? What does it look like? It's rad, very dirty. Now. Is it like a ten speed, like or a BMX, BMX type bike, or Just a six speed? Six speed. Yeah. Oh. And uh, which when you left their apartment, which way did you go? I kind of zigzagged around, zigzagged around like an idiot, because I had no idea where I was going to go. And I, it's a little leisurely, because I mean, after you murder someone, after you cross that kind of line, you don't really think much about it. Okay, so would you say you went down way down Highway 44 all the way down to Rockstone? <clears throat> I think I did pass over that pass thing. I don't. I mean, I passed by a car dealership. I don't. I don't remember quite okay. right. You mentioned the other things. When I, you mentioned bicycles, I thought you meant the other things. What other things are out there? Oh, I'm just talking about my backpack and other things. Yes, that's what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. And which is way down far the line, just a little east of the house I ended up at in Cal Allen. So it's yeah, Cal Allen and mm -hmm. stuff. Based by the railroad tracks? Yeah, Corpus Christi bike, but it's the Cal Allen stuff, the backpack mm -hmm. and whatnot is really stuck underneath the undergrowth, yeah. Okay. I'm going to be proud to recover that. Uh, Hoping we can find it. Would it be all right for you to take it down there once we find that the railroad? Oh, you want me to? Yeah, I can show you. Okay. okay. Let us, I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, let us get through with the rest of the people we have here. Okay. And we can hop in the car and uh, uh, we'll take you down there and we'll try to recover your backpack and, and, and your bike and, and, and go from there. Okay. Is there anything in, in your backpack full of blood or anything else that needs to worry about? I don't believe so, just some supplies I kind of just threw in there. So. Yeah, you said you took a shower at the house and everything, right? Oh, I did, yeah. So you were covered in blood? I was covered in blood. My glasses, everything is, is a mess. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now we're going to put you in another room over here. We'll be sitting there, and then we'll go from there. Would you care for more water or anything? Uh, it's up to you, man. I, I, I got it in the fridge ready if you want it. I think I'm fine. I'll just finish this. Oh, okay.
where a man came across like a man. I mean, uh, not like somebody else. He came across like him. He did what you did, and he came to the city. I admire men like that. I, I work I work this kind of stuff all the time, and, and, and you get a lot of time, but a lot of time people all of a sudden did something, and all they, all they want to do is move out of it. You want to take responsibility. You're a different person. My life's taking a different turn. Time to change it back. Next thing over here. It was in, in, are you your handcuff, right? Yeah. I will. Uh, we need to find your sister just just to make sure that she's okay. You said you didn't hurt her, right? I did not. Uh, we tried to call her on the phone. We can get her. Does she go to school? No, she doesn't go to school currently. Oh, okay. Because we thought maybe she was in college or something. What is she, does she work? She works at Mesquite Bar and Grill, I believe. Uh, That's the one in uh, Saratoga? Uh, I would not know, but probably. And her name is Desiree Hill? Desiree Hill, yeah. How old is she? Um, 24. You know her, her phone number? I'm sorry, I don't know if I have it now. Okay, if I was to use the number, would you tell me if it's right or not? Oh, you have numbers? I don't know if I have numbers or not, but I got a little. Oh, 459-7215, does that sound right? Well, where are you getting these numbers from? It kind of sounds familiar. Well, oh, I'm getting the numbers from the house. I guess you could try. It sounds vaguely familiar. You could does, try, it. does it have a, a 361 area code? It does. Yeah, it has 361. 361. Yeah. Well, whose area code is 443? Hmm? 443, whose area code is that? I wouldn't know. I, it kind of rings a bell, maybe something on my mother's contacts, but I wouldn't know. Okay. So let me go get a uh, key for this stuff. Okay. Let me get a key for this stuff. Okay. Is this, is this the number you have? The number you have? Yeah. Does that sound familiar, that number that you detected? Uh, 549 times, does it have a 361? Uh, no, this one has the area code of uh, 443, I think. Yeah, it may be under her dad's name. 443 is the area code. 449. Does she have a local number? Did last time you talked to her on the phone, what was it? Well, I have a list of contacts, so I never bother to remember mem numbers by memory. Whose phone was in the floor? Is it yours? Is it the people? A phone on the floor in the, in the bedroom? Oh, that should be another. My bedroom. No, hers. Uh, I believe I left her phone in the living room. Was it pink? Yes. Yeah. Okay, then that, that is definitely hers wherever it is. Okay. Desiree, it's Sergeant Garcia, coming. Please call me at this number that I'm calling you on. Where could she be at now? Well, she thinks since last I checked, she works late. And remember that apartment I told you was nearby here? Of course, Spanish.